Hello everybody and welcome back to Sci Art Shop Channel. Okay, we're carrying on with our luxury paintbrush chef. Now, let me put it back together for you. It's all been painted and what we're going to do next is the shading. Exciting stuff, guys. So I'll just uh, put the body down with the hat and the hand, hands with the arms. So there's the little arms going on there. There's the hand with the spoon and I decided to make the spoon brown, so like a wooden spoon. I thought that was in keeping with the character. And there's the other hand and the ears. So that's where we got to after, after the painting. So like I said, we're going to shade it next. Now I'm going to use um, a little brush like this um, there are special names for these brushes, but uh, I don't know what they're called, so apologies for that. But uh, any brush you've got that's fairly small like this and uh, semi-stiff, I suppose, um, would be good for this because you just want to get in all the nooks and crannies, if you know what I mean, what I'm saying. You do? You do? That's great. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to use my um, powder again, the Goosh powder, I think you pronounce it. And uh, I've used this before and I've shown you that it's, um, if you put water with it, it changes the powder into a paint. And, uh, but I use this for shading. So without further ado, let's get on with that. So I've opened it up and all I'm gonna do is basically off camera, I would just put that in there and take, dab off any excess and then go round and uh, highlight these different uh, things uh, on the character. So I will do that for you now. And what I will probably do is the body first. So I'm just going to take everything apart and show you it one at a time. So all you need to do is just go round and uh, go around underneath I would first where if you can imagine the um, the lights coming from the top and then uh, it's going to be shaded underneath all these bits that's um, you know on the bottom if you know what I mean so uh, the light comes down and then you get a, a blacker part underneath where the uh, light doesn't reach so um, that's what we're going to do first so I'm just going to go round and uh, put a little bit of black in there. And don't be scared with this, guys. Just go round and then you can blow it off any excess. Um, but like I say, make sure when you take this out, just dab off anything. Because if you get a lot on your brush and you put it down, you will put a lot of the powder um, on your character and it might be too much. So it's best to um, use less and then you can always add more. Okay, so a little side tip there, guys. So let me just carry on with that. So you keep building it. Uh, so there's quite a lot there, so I'm just gonna blow that off. And then in a moment, I'm gonna go over that again because I think that's a bit too much. And, uh, and uh, get that off, so. So just, that's it, just like that, see? And as, as you keep doing it, you'll find that you're building up all these uh, shadows. And I'm gonna go in there, look. And just get that under the lip. Okay, just in there. Blow that off. And keep building it up and then you'll see it come to life but what really makes it come to life is when you put the eyes on and I'm going to show you that after we've done this now there's uh, two different ways um, that I could do the eyes on this particular one and I will explain later um, why I'm using the particular idea that I'm going to use for the eyes for this particular character, because this is being made for a good friend of mine who um, is a chef. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it to him as a present. So uh, hopefully he will like it. And uh, the good thing about this is 
he can uh, watch it actually being made on uh, YouTube. So it's a win, win, win there, guys. Or win, win, win. That's too many wins, isn't it? But anyway, you know what I mean, guys. You do, you do. I know you do. That's great. So I'm just going around, getting and along that, like the uh, coat line there. I'm just going, just going in there like that. And see how that just picks that up? And just makes it a little bit different. And again, under the um, buttons, I'll just dab a little bit, just to give the hint of uh, shadows. Yeah, just like that. So guys, this needs to be dry. So don't do this if it's still wet, because as soon as you put this powder on it and it's wet, it will turn into paint. And then it'd be look like you're actually painting it. And uh, if that's the look you're looking for, then that's great. But if it's not, then you might have slight issues and you don't want that. Okay, so I'm going along the edge now, just to give it and under that lip. See, you just do that and just take that off the excess. I'm trying to do it with my left hand now. A bit more tricky for me. Let me just blow that off. Actually, that's the best way to do it. Use my dominant hand just to get that. There's probably loads of other ways to do shading, but this is the way for this particular thing I find works for me. So that's the way I, way I do it. Um, I do, do use a spray gun as well, but like I've said before, um, I will um, do tutorials using the spray gun, but I know a lot of guys won't have a spray gun, so I think if I'm making something and uh, you haven't got a spray gun, you won't be able to do it the same. So I try to show you how to make different things with uh, what you would have uh, you know, in your home. So, but I will do some, I definitely will do some other um, tutorials using the, the spray gun. And then you can see how that works, but that lifts it as well. But this is just, it's the same principle where you're just do it using a uh, brush, not the gun. So, so, yeah. So all good stuff, guys. So, I'm quite pleased so far. I just need to do, see where I've missed some of the painting and some of the paint for the pink lips gone onto the, the uh, cheeks and things. I just want to make that a little bit darker. So I want to try and cover that up. I, I don't want to put too much on there. So, uh, you get the idea. And again, under the lip, not lip, the um, tongue, I should be saying there, guys. So just a bit on there. And you see, as you keep building it up, building it up you're, uh, you'll get the idea, and it sort of makes it come alive. You know, and don't worry if it's not perfect, because it's art at the end of the day, and you don't have to worry about all that. You're doing it your own way. That's great. That's what it's all about. Have fun and um, come up with different designs and just try different things. Sometimes I, I try things and it doesn't quite work. So, uh, you know, I just think about it and see next time when I make it, is there anything I could do to improve it? So, yeah. But it's how, how you want to do it, guys. I'm just showing you my way, but you can do your way, of course, whatever you like doing. But it gives you a, a foundation, I think, to do your own. Do your own thing, guys, and that's what it's all about. So look, it's coming together already. 
How fantastic is that? I probably won't do much more. Um, m maybe in the mouth, because that's quite a dark area, isn't it, in there? Because you wouldn't normally see it in someone's mouth. So I'm going to put a little bit more than normal there, just to highlight that, to make it, make it pop. If you know what I mean, what I'm saying? You do, you do. That's great. Okay, let me just blow that off. <sighs> yeah, so see? Look at that. I'm so, so pleased with it. I don't want to keep building it up because it will make it really dark and you won't see the pink of the the face and, and all the rest of it. So I'm going to leave that like that and put it to one side. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to do the chef's hat. So again, I'll just probably start around the edges and pick up the little areas and all the nooks and crannies. If you know what nooks and crannies are, guys, if you don't, then you've got a lovely search engine there that you can look that up. So it's a little Brit saying there. Uh, probably other countries say it as well, but uh, you know, that's the way I roll. Okay, and a bit under there. And I need to put a bit in there because that would be uh, dark where that seam is. Ooh, a bit too much, I think, but uh, that's going to highlight it. So, oh yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. And under there, so let me get another bit on my luxury brush and just pop that on there, perhaps a little bit down there. So, yeah, a bit more around the edge. You know, if you want it really dramatic, then put loads on. But uh, remember, you're going to be left with a lot of black. And this is just a hint. He says as he puts on loads. No, I don't. Okay, so there you go. That's, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to put that to one side. Now I'm going to do a hand. And what I'll probably do is pick it upside down and do these bits, because they'd be darker. Okay, I'll just put that down. And then I need to get in, in all these sort of areas where the, the fingers and thumbs are. So I'll put a little bit in there and offer that around, perhaps a little bit down there, not too much, just there where that meets. So that's enough, I think, on that one. Now I'll do the other hand with the spoon, a little bit along there, and a little bit in there, because that would be where the shadows are. A bit more there. Let me just blow that off. And when I put this, when I first put the um, brush into the pot, I, I, I do take the excess powder off, but I'm very careful when I first put the brush, when it's uh, newly loaded with the powder, because you're going to get the most of the powder to start with from your brush. You just want to be a bit careful there. Just a little side tip there. Okay, and there's a bit there. I could use a bit of that, I suppose. That would be good. But then I'm painting my board, so that's not good. All right, so we've got that. So I'm going to just try and, <coughs> excuse me, pick some of the, that's, that's where the uh, top of the spoon would connect to the handle. So I just want to try and get some shadow and highlights on there just to pick that up. Okay. So there we go. Not You don't need loads. Oh, excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat if you know what one of those is. <coughs> excuse me. So now we're going to do the arms. So again, I'll just go around the edge like so, and then around that seam. Remember the seam actually broke off, I showed on the other clip, but uh, we stuck it back on and it seems to be sticking, so that's good. I'm going to put a bit in there because that's where the, the hands are going to fit in. Well, we're just going to stick them like that, so that will all work lovely. So that one I'm happy with. Now I'm going to... 
just think about how this is going to go on. This one's a bit of a funny shape, so it sort of doesn't, see it rolls about when I put it on the board, but when I stick it down, I'll actually put it into the right position that I, that I want it in um, when we get to that stage, which won't be that long. So keep watching all these clips, guys. And if you do make one of these luxury paintbrushes, characters then let me know in the comments below and send me some pictures so i'd love to see what you come up with so now i'm going to do the ears probably a bit in the middle there you don't need much just a bit on the edges there where that would connect to the head so we're nearly there guys i think we are there okay so i think that's it so what I will do is just put it all back together to show you how it looks. Now I'm just going to wipe my board if I may. And that might transfer, so it's still got some black on there, so just be aware of that. But uh, for this, I'm using it to show you guys because I thought the board helped you guys see exactly what it contrasts so you can see better. So let me just put that on. Oh, it's looking good, guys. Look at this. Now, which one? I think that one goes there. And this is this strange one that sort of flops around a bit. But it's going to be something like that. Right. So there you go. So how fantastic does that look, guys? So we've um, picked out all the highlights and uh, the shadows and bits and pieces and uh, gone from there now i'm happy with that so what's going to happen next is i'm going to show you how to do the eyes now i've got some eyes that i've bought that i've used for other projects now i understand you guys might not have that so i'm going to show you how to do it with a pen um because you've all got a pen or a felt tip or a posca pen and uh, the actual eyes i've got which i'm just about to show you um, will cover up um, the um, pen that I'm just going to show you um, so that I can show you guys how to do it with a pen, but I can also um, use these other eyes that I've got, which are bigger than the pen pupil, if that makes sense, and it will cover it all up. So um, I just wanted to show you that. So all you do is, um, if I'll, let me show you these other other eyes. So there's these eyes that I've got for other projects. So, um, you know, the proper eyes that I bought. And uh, you're probably wondering why one is brown and one is blue. Well, the chef that I'm making this for, for pre uh, this uh, present for, is um, has two different colour eyes, one brown and one blue. And uh, I thought it would really link into him personally if I use a blue and brown eye that I've got. So that's why I'm doing that. Now, normally they would be the same color, but uh, this particular person um, is very special because he has two different color eyes. Now there must be a name for that, but I don't know what that is. Now, if you know, put in the comments below and let me know, and then I'll learn something new. Um, but I know there is a name for it, but uh, I don't know what that is off the top of my head, guys. So what I'm gonna do is stick these on um, near the end. Now, you know, they keep coming off, but they will stick on. Um, now, I don't know exactly whether I'm gonna go boss side or one eye up there and all the rest of it. So, but you can play around with it um, before you actually stick them on. So when you're happy, then you think, oh yeah, this is, let me just show you, that is um, the look I want. Then I would stick them on like that. Now, going back to my other point about if you haven't got any of these particular eyes, then um, no problem, you can use a pen. Now, there's a Posca pen, and this is a PC1MR, and it's black. So, um, you just, all you need to do is just basically put the pupil in. So, I'll just show you that, because these, I will show you that, and then these will cover what I'm showing you now, so it's not gonna affect what I'm doing here, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly how you do that. And all you do is basically draw it in like so, like there. So again, you could have the eyeball up there, you know, you can change it all around and make it boss-eyed. It's entirely 
up to you. But I think as soon as you start putting the eyes on, it makes a character come alive. So I've done that, okay? So that, that's a real simple way just to do the eyes if you haven't got any other way of doing it. And uh, sometimes I put in, um, you know, say uh, the character you're making needs to look a bit stressed or um, they need to look tired. I use a pen like this, which is like a glitter pen. And then what I do is I just go around and make little like blood vessels. You see that? Now it's not going to matter because, I, like I said, I'm going to put these over the top of this. So you won't... You know, it's not going to affect what I'm doing, but I wanted to show you guys while I was doing it exactly how you sort of do this. So all you do is that. See, and that's changed it again. So that's just a glitter pen I've used. And uh, that makes it look like, you know, well, bloodshot or tired or stressed or whatever. So if that's the look you're looking for, then that's great. Um, but uh, I'm not doing that. I'm doing it with these. So look, see what I mean? So that, even though I've shown you there, it's not going to affect uh, this particular character because I'm going to cover them all up. And you won't even know that I've done that unless you watch this clip, which I know everyone will do. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, so there there we are, guys. We're, we're at that stage. Um, what I'm going to do next is uh, take those eyes off. And uh, I'm going to take this outside because I'm going to use this the Winter & Newton uh, High Gloss Varnish. And I'm basically going to spray, spray it all. I'm not going to do it inside because it is a bit whiffy, if you know what whiffy means. If you don't, look it up, okay, guys? So you just spray it all individually outside and let that dry. And then uh, I may leave it like that, or I may put some actual liquid varnish on it um, because this is spray varnish, um, because sometimes that makes it... Um, you know, just makes it a bit more glossy. Um, but I'm not too sure until I've sprayed this a couple of times if if I want to do it that way. Now, you're probably saying, why don't you just put the liquid gloss on first? Now, if you do that, you may um, you'll change all this black powdered paint, um, the gauche powder, and uh, it'll be a liquid. So it might change it into a paint. And you'll be going around with a brush with your liquid... Um, varnish and you'll be going in all the nooks and crannies which is great but it will change this powder into paint and you don't want that but I find if I use a spray I spray it all on you're not physically brushing anything you're just spraying it so it doesn't affect anything so you're not rubbing anything so it just seals it um, and then like I said once I've done that it will I let it dry and it seals it then I can think about putting a liquid um, varnish on if I want to do that because it would all be sealed with this, the spray. Um, so hopefully that all made sense. So you, you spray it first and then that seals it. You can leave it like that or you can uh, go back over it with a liquid um, varnish um, with a brush and just go around all the places where you want the varnish to go in there. And then that makes it um, even more um, shiny if that's the look you're looking for. Um, but I haven't decided yet exactly if I'm doing that. So I'm going to spray it first, let it dry and see how it looks. And then we're nearly there. So I may use the um, varnish, the uh, liquid varnish that is, to um, do the next stage. Or I might just finish it off like that. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy so far. And just stick it onto the board and I'll show you how to do that. So that's in the next clip. Um, so we're nearly there, guys. This is nearly ready um, to be wrapped up and given to my uh, chef, chef friend uh, as a luxury present. And it's unique to him because it will be with these eyes. And uh, yeah, doesn't that look good? So there you go, guys. All in the shading and the eyes brings it alive. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, like, share and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this tutorial so far. Okay, it's nice to uh, show you what I do and uh, share the joy with all of you. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again in the next clip. Bye bye for now.